in beautiful downtown Toronto in February. It's Late Night with Conan O'Brien! Tonight, Mike Myers! And comedian Ron James! With Max Weinberg and Max Weinberg 7! for that. That was, uh, that was weird. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Thanks. I love you too, sir. That's great. Listen, <laughs> and it's legal here. Now listen, <laughs> the important thing, I want to thank you all, first of all, very much for that welcome. That was great. It is, it is great. Hero. You're my hero. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> I took a hard look. Uh, great to be here. This is amazing. Great to be here in Canada. Thank you very much. This is great. Fantastic. I'll tell you something. I tell you, this is the only country, only country in the world where people come up to me and say, man, I thought I was white. <laughs> Very different uh, here in Canada than the uh, United States. A lot of differences. For example, this is true. Uh, in Canada, uh, rapper 50 Cent is known as 75 Cent. <laughs> It was all right, just don't cheer it like that. <laughs> that was awesome what he did. He took the exchange rate and what he did was settle down. <laughs> See, we have some uh, teenage fans here. This is interesting. In a new poll, 54% of Canadian teenagers say that they use marijuana. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the other 46% say that they grow marijuana. <laughs> that was for you, guy, yeah. Of course, there's a lot, thank you. Of course, there's a lot, a lot going on back in the uh, States right now. President Bush keeping very busy. Yeah. Hey, that's my president you're messing with, all right? I'll come out there and nothing will happen. Now, uh, we'll get a beer. No, uh, during his, uh, no, this is true. This is true. During his recent interview on uh, Meet the Press, I don't know if you saw this, but President Bush said, this is a quote, I don't think America can stand by and hope for the best from a madman. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The weird thing is he was talking about Don Cherry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That sound you hear right now is... No one in the United States getting that. <laughs> right now, everyone. 
TV's turning. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now, as I said earlier, it's great to be here in Toronto, which, by the way, I mentioned this, uh, has become one of the most popular spots in the world for gay men to get married. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. No, it's true. It's legal now. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. And we're all very happy. Anyway. <laughs> No, it's legal here, yeah, which makes sense because your city's most famous symbol is an 1,800-foot penis right here. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that thing. Now, you know, the last thing I want to do while I'm in Toronto, the very last thing I want to do is spend a whole week rehashing tired old Canadian stereotypes. I don't want to do that. You don't want it. I don't want to do it. So I think the best thing to do is get all the stereotypes out of the way in one thrilling moment. Please welcome the embodiment of every Canadian stereotype. Yes! The hockey-playing Mountie with a back bacon hockey stick who lives in a beer can igloo and loves Rush. This actually can be used for shelter, so we're not going to waste that. All right, there are uh, many amazing sights here in the city of Toronto, just amazing ones. Just this morning, I wanted to take a walk around, so I took a walk and I walked past Sky Dome. I did. Home of the Toronto Blue Jays. And, uh, yeah, Sky Dome. Sky Dome, of course, is famous for its retractable roof. Yeah, it's an amazing feat of engineering. In fact, our announcer, Joel Goddard, there he is. Hello, Joel. Give it up for Joel right there. Joel. Our announcer Joel was so impressed with Sky Dome that he, that he had an operation yesterday to install his own retractable sky head. Isn't that right, Joel? Check it out. Well, man, as evidenced by this crowd, you can tell at home, Canadians are a fiery, passionate people. They are. They are. And nothing, nothing gets their Latino blood boiling. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Nothing makes that blood boil more than hockey. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a stranger to this exotic game. So I thought I should pay a visit to the local team, the great Toronto Maple Leafs, and see, see what I could learn. And ladies and gentlemen, I learned a lot. Take a look. 